What is going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the Mortal Kombat 1 official Banished trailer. Thanks so much for joining us as we continue our Mortal Kombat journey. Hit the subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. By the by, we picked up Mortal Kombat 11 on Achara's PlayStation 5 so that we could do some... Let's Plays as Achara learns how to play Mortal Kombat. You guys can let us know in the comments below which character you'd like most to see Achara try and learn how to play. Katana. Any intense violence that shows up in this trailer, we are going to have to censor because of YouTube and we don't want to get demonetized. If you want to watch the uncensored version, become a Patreon member on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the uncensored version. Anyway, here we go. Oh god, what is that? Ugh. Oh god. Earthrealmers <laughs> aren't ready to see the real me. So how does it work? You just shape shift in anything you want? I can shift only between this and my natural form. Ooh. <laughs> that I could take human form made me a freak among my people. I was oh, terrorized. Run out. That is cool! You misread my intentions, princess. Uh-oh. Whoa. I love Princess Katana's outfit, though. I am Ashra, demon of the Netherrealm. Oh. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. Oh. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. Whoa. Wow. She's cool. She's like a freaky version of something out of uh, House of Flying Daggers. Yeah, exactly. I'm like looking at her style and it's like very... Come. The monks must prepare you for war. You Chinese will movies. accept chaos. By choice or by force. Whoa. Killing one realm to free another is a heinous proposition. One I won't let you fulfill. Oh gosh, they're kicking her ass. Wait, who are these people? What? What a weird character. <laughs> oh jeez. Astra. Oh goodness. Oh no. They're out for you too, size off to catch me. They must see me. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh my god. I love that Johnny Cage uh, enjoys reptiles' powers. I, I'm enjoying reptiles' powers. Goodness. <laughs> Beating up on this poor lady. Who the heck is he? Literally a demon lady. Okay. Wow. Whoa. What? Take that and that and that. Damn. Did somebody Take your chaos elsewhere? <laughs> So say, did somebody ask for their barbecue? Well done. Right, well. What the freak? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I was afraid he was gonna poop her out. Okay, so real quick, we've got a profile here my sister advised me to check out. I should have looked at this before the trailer, but I forgot to. Uh, it is here that I am most powerful. Ashra is a character in the Mortal Kombat fighting game series who made her debut in Mortal Kombat Deception. Despite having the appearance of an elegant, old-fashioned, attractive young woman, Ashra is actually a demon from the Nether Realm. They told us that. She dresses completely in white and appears as a tall, mysterious woman, a blend between aristocracy and innocence. Mm. Okay, what were you no, saying? No, I mean, I thought that they actually caught us 
class up really well in the trailer. According to your sister, it's like not a lot of people know about Mortal Kombat Deception. And so she's like a lesser known character. I have a feeling maybe it's not only us noobs that are learning about her for the first time, but maybe quite a few people. As someone who was new to her, I thought she was pretty cool. I, I like the design. I wish that they made her face prettier, but that's just me. Well, because... she seems really pretty in this. I was surprised too, but I thought it was cool just kind of how they combined the elements of her like demon and human-like form. Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense why she looks the way she does. Yeah. She definitely does have that elegance that this uh, uh, wiki article is describing. Well, also in her fighting style that we were talking about in the reaction, right? Because she does kind of have that classical... I was going to say kung fu, but I, I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, like you said, in that kind of House of Flying Dagger style with the thinner... I, I just uh, call that sword. Hong Kong like cinema, a Hong Kong a kung fu cinema kind of stuff. It's, yeah, it's yeah. just very elegant. Yeah. And just the way she looks and she moves and stuff, it just really kind of speaks to that. Yeah, because it's not exactly wushu, but it's kind of wushu. Yeah. It's like fantasy wushu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose yeah. you can say, because it's like got that House of Flying Daggers kind of feeling to the whole thing. It's like um, it's like those um, Chinese TV shows that I grew up watching. Sure. Where they'd like, you know, climb on the walls and fight in midair and all of that. Yeah. Um, I was really digging the uh, relationship between Johnny Cage, or I should say friendship. Friendship. Friendship between Johnny Cage and Reptile. Yeah. The way Johnny Cage was just kind of digging every everything that Reptile could do. And we're seeing a side of Reptile that we haven't gotten to in the previous games, I feel like. Uh, because looking at the cutscenes from 9, 10, and 11, we haven't gotten we this much in depth with him. Yeah, we don't know an awful lot about him, I feel. And I really like this. Like, I, I, I like that he's having more of a, a backstory now where you're kind of like, oh, okay, I get you. You have to wear this kind of human skin in order to fit in, but you don't really fit in. Mm -hmm. And people are afraid of you or they shun you. But I really... Secret invasion. <laughs> right? But I, I, like, I really like how both sides of him look. I think he looks really cool as mm -hmm. a human. I like his tattoos. I think he looks cute. And then also when he's a reptile, he's like, okay, what? how could we take a lizard and just take all the most kind of scary aspects of being a lizard or a reptile, like mm -hmm. combining that, because it kind of feels like he's got some sort of crocodile aspects in, sure. in the size and, and in the, the jaw, but then also just his body shape feels a little bit more like a lizard. They've definitely evolved his look, and I think it's for the better. Um, yeah. They've definitely made him more interesting as a character to look at. Uh, and his reptilian side is more scary than I recall from the previous installments. Uh, but they, they did a nice job of explaining why he's both human and reptilian. Yeah. Because, like, for the longest... Okay, so for me, you know, looking at Reptile as just a creature from the games in the early installments, he just looked human until maybe he pulled off his helmet or uh, to, to oh, spit or right, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Not his helmet, but his, his mask, right? In the Mortal Kombat movie, he was introduced as this, like, CGI lizard, which is, yeah. like, the CGI did not, you know, age very well. But, That's how I've always remembered him. Uh, but but when he becomes a human, he's, he just looks human in the movie, uh. right? And so eventually, it just he just started looking like a reptile, and that's it. And I didn't understand why. I just thought, oh, this is evolution oh. that the you know uh, devs decided to go with. But here they explain how he's both, and I thought that was nice. And so that's pretty cool, just to get more backstory on him and to get to get more time with him. It's like Mortal Kombat has so many characters, and there are a number of them that we haven't gotten to spend as much time with, who have more more just been kind of ancillary to the mm -hmm, story. Yeah. And so why not get more in depth uh, with Reptile? That's pretty awesome. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, do subscribe, hit that bell icon, please. All notifications and vote this up. Let YouTube know you enjoyed what you watched. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.